Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome again to the southern wing of the Stink Bug Works. Today I'm going to talk about hydroplanes, but not radio-controlled hydroplanes. I'm going to talk about plastic model kit hydroplanes. Now, plastic model kit hydroplanes are few and far between. I've had this kit for, I don't know, 10 or 20 years, and it's a real nice kit. Now, Testers does a pretty good job, and, you know, there's a lot of interesting detail in here. There's little rivets on the ride plates and such, and, and overall, the detail's pretty good. If you know anything about plastic models, I would put it in the Ravel category, or maybe monogram, monogram or Ravel. You know, it, it's right in there as far as detail goes. Now, there were some really crappy plastic kits in our day from Lindbergh and Aurora, and the parts didn't fit, and they were all warped, and they, they were just junk. But there's also the Japanese kits. Now, they, these guys are amazing. Hasegawa, if they were to model this boat, all the little panel lines for all the little inspection panels would be there. And, you know, every last little nut and bolt, every little screw on the instrument panel would be there exactly to scale. I mean, this one's pretty good. Those are excellent. Yeah, and see, I, I took the decals out because they were longer than the box and they wanted to curl, so I kept them flat. But the real reason I'm talking about that is right here. Now, occasionally I will go on internet searches and I'll search hydroplane. And I'll go and I'll look at this and look at this and then follow the rabbit hole and get lost in there. Well, H1 Unlimited is now the, uh, the, the sanctioning organization for hydroplane racing. At one time it was, you know, the American Powerboat Association, you know, but... H1 Unlimited is the name of the organization that deals with hydroplanes. You know, they write the rules, they schedule the races, <clears throat> they arrange the prizes. They're, they're the, the ground forces, and then, of course, the builders build, the drivers drive, and the winners win. So, on their site, they have a number of 125th scale hydroplane kits. And quite frankly, they're considerably cheaper than what you see these these Budweiser kits. I see them from one to two hundred dollars on eBay, you know, rather frequently, but they're one to two hundred dollars. You can't find one for under a hundred bucks. H1 Unlimited has has uh, 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 joined forces with somebody. I think these are molded in Vietnam. They might be Chinese. I don't know, but they're actually pretty good. They're as good as this. You know, the detail is kind of there, but it's not Hasegawa there. You know, they have a, a pretty... Uh, scale cockpit, but, you know, there's no internal hoses and wiring and switches and, you know, whistles and bells. I don't even think they give you foot pedals for them. So, you know, this this one has the foot pedals. But if you're interested in just putting together a, a cool kit, go to H1 Unlimited. These things are 50 bucks. And a a portion of that, a fair portion of that, goes to support the H1 organization. So I thought that was a, you know, a win-win for everybody. I get a cool, 
a cool plastic kit. Now, now you get a load of this. They even give you your acrylic paints and a little soundboard that when you pull this thing out, it engages the batteries and it makes a sound and probably the sound of the boat going by. Now they have turbine boats, but I've actually laid hands on this boat. I've actually touched and messed around with this boat and hung out in the trailer and talked to the guys that build and race this. You, you know what? See, unlike basketball or football or baseball, you know, those are a bunch of prima donnas. The guys that race these things, remember I remarked about uh, 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 Chip Hanauer, what just a regular Joe guy he is. Well, the guys that you know, we're racing this. We're just some regular Joe guys. And as long as I could talk intelligently about, you know, uh, uh, um, hydroplanes, and I at least knew the names of the parts and didn't has, have to ask, what do you call this? You know, in hydroplanes, in, in the, the big ones, it's no longer the Sponson because the Sponson is all part of this whole bigger piece. They call it the canoe. And so if you can say, oh, you got new canoes on there, they'll go, oh, you know about hydroplanes. And then, then you know, he can talk and, and these guys are just happy to talk about it. They're like five-year-old kids living out their dreams. So I particularly like this boat because I miss the sound. Now, I'll tell you about the sound when I was growing up, I lived by San Diego State University, just the other side of the highway. And, and San Diego State University was kind of at the end of, of uh, um, Mission Valley. So there's this big, huge valley that kind of ends and comes up this hill. And at the end of the valley, where it meets the water, is Mission Bay, where they race these things. And this is maybe 15 miles away. And I'm sitting in my home at the top of this big valley coming up. And I can hear 15 miles away. You could hear these things. You know, I miss, I miss that. The, the turbine ones. You can't hear them on the other side of the course. You know, they throw up a lot of water and they go real fast, but there's no sound. They're just throwing up a lot of water and going real fast. And then when they come by you, they're going. <laughs> you know, it's it it doesn't pack the thrill. And that's what these guys, uh, um, the Griggs was the name of the company, and they ran an Ace uh, uh, um, hardware store somewhere in flyover country. Might have been Wisconsin, up up by the lakes, up where people build boats like this. And so I just thought it was real cool that I could get a model of this kit, you know. So there you go, boys and girls. Just a little idle rambling about something some of you might find interesting, might find fun to play with. A cheaper 125th scale hydro kit. They make turbine kits as well. Actually, the turbine kit uses the same hull and that is that. Just It has just a different... Uh, uh, um, of course, it has a different motor in it, but it's got the, the turbine cowl, too. So, it's, what's cool? Cooling water exit. Just food for thought for you guys that like to build scale stuff. Cooling water exit. Until next time, boys and girls, jet out. <laughs>